y'all know what day it is just cause today is Friday finally there it is boys and there's the man himself let's take a look and see what he's got you guys come on Got an orange box in here and a big old red roll cart. Yeah. That's got a big old opening at the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently I ordered this one. I ordered a tow box with a slide top like what yours is in there. But it was a, the guy said he'd take whatever color that they had, he, but he wanted a stainless top. Yeah. Well, the only color they had was a black with stainless trim and a stainless top. Or that was the one I could get the quickest. Yeah. And uh, so I ordered it. And apparently, I ordered this one here a while back, and they've been on back order when they came in. Well, UPS called me the other day, which blew my mind then, too, because most of everything comes through, uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of the company is now, but they drop them off here. Yeah. And I just pick them up here. So I'd go the other night to UPS and pick that RL one up. Carriers the, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. And, uh, yeah, I got both them roll carts. Dropped the one roll cart off. Of course, I told everybody about the use box was getting in. That box uh, is tall, isn't it? Yeah, this is a big box right here. It's the same as the black one, but it has two extra doors with it. Mm -hmm. And it has the black type. Of course, this one's been used a little bit. They, somebody set a master cylinder or something down and got brake fluid on it in a couple spots. But it'll sell, though. That's a big old box. Yeah. These were a special edition when they came out because they came with this already on the side and you got a tray with it. These by themselves like 365 trays over 100 bucks. I like that box because the top drawer is like my old box goes all, all the, way the way down. Across. Yeah. yeah. I mean, That's a drawer. massive drawer right there. You put a lot of stuff in here. Mm-hmm. Got double slides on it, so it's gonna hold a lot of weight. That's a good looking box. Yeah, it's dirty right now. I ain't cleaned it up because I ain't had time to clean it up. A tub of towel, a couple of tub of towels do that thing a hundred dollars worth of good. Yeah, at least. <laughs> That's what somebody asked me the other day. So I'll give you something to do this weekend. They just tell me that today. I was like, they must <laughs> not know you got stuff already laid out for the weekend. Yeah, I got my truck hooked to the trailer right now. We're going <laughs> racing today. Leaving out here shortly. I ain't getting to race. It'll be my son. It's all junior dragster races, but there'll be a bunch of them there. Must be nice. Must be nice. What you got in a big blue point case? This is what I use the warranty ones out with. Oh, okay. And I try to keep these because... <clears throat> That's the same set I got right there, it looks like. Yep. Yep. Got the wrenches up here. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a bunch of them missing waiting to get... So I got some of them back in already. I just ain't put them back in the here. That right there is a fine set for a pickup. Yeah. Well, this you is know, my I favorite bought that part little about the quarter inch set from me to start with and liked it. That's my favorite part about it. getting wrenches with it. So. Then I bought that set and I was like, man, I love the fact I can grab one case out of the back of my pickup and I can work on pretty much anything I need to. Yep. It's nice. Just got to figure out how we can mount a 3H impact in here somewhere or another. <laughs> <laughs> do like I do, get that bag. I leave my batteries. I got that three eighths impact and then the the bit driver. Yeah. And that one bag. It's perfect. I need to get a add a ratchet to that truck and then it'll be done. That's bad when you're too lazy to use a regular ratchet. You're gonna walk all the <laughs> way back to the truck to get a battery ratchet. That's what well like that kit down there comes with the blue point three eighths ratchet yeah. and everybody's like what do you think about the blue point ratchets like i, I hate like the blue them. point ratchets i, I like love the, the blue point them. sockets and everything oh yeah the, the grip uh, is nice because you can use a hard handle yeah. grip even with oily and whatnot you can get grip on it but to me they they feel like a 36 tooth ratchet and it's just click <laughs> click, like click 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 like a cornwheel ratchet yeah <laughs> 
And uh, I'll make somebody mad. Let me retract that statement. I don't want to talk bad about <laughs> Cornwell, but I like my ratchets to have more teeth than I have. Yeah. <laughs> than a Bama fan. That's what my sister and her husband are Bama fans, so I give them heck all the time. About you ain't gonna watch them Bama fans. They, hey, they get serious now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like you take a like joke. Self esteem issues or something, I yeah, guess. It's like old mess. We used to, we we may lose the ball game, but we're gonna win the party. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't never been to Gr the Grove on a Saturday in Oxford, Mississippi, yeah. you're missing out on life. Like well, it don't even matter what the score was, they still have a good time. <laughs> It'll be so maybe my for five minutes of this ball game, but then we're gonna we'll yeah. solve that issue. You get back though. to the grove, it's all over <laughs> with then. We had a great night. Well, you sold a bunch this week? Yeah, the one row cart. I got two scanners sold. I got an email this morning saying I get a Apollo D9, which will be my first D9 uh, coming in. What's different with it than it's the D8? It's faster. That's, that's what I called another guy that's already had one. I asked him what the difference was. He said, nothing. I said, what did they change? But he said, well, it's faster. <laughs> well, hell, the damn D8's pretty fast. Yeah, and I got it's pretty, I, I like it pretty well. And, uh, then I got a Solus Legend coming in, and it wasn't five minutes after I read the email, a guy come on the truck, was asking about one of his first cousins wanting a scanner. He's getting into the used car business, mm -hmm. and he uh, been buying some auctions and stuff, but he's wanting to be able to carry a scanner with him to yeah. uh, scan them at the auction and stuff, so he's gonna buy one of them. I'm supposed to have it Tuesday, I think. That's when you go to in. the auction and there's one that you like. You gotta go you and leave the, the codes in it, <laughs> yeah. and then you go to the ones that you, you know, like, man, this F-250 has got a bunch of codes. I'll clear them out that way. <laughs> Somebody buys this, use up all their money. Use all their money up. Yeah, that's what, uh, <clears throat> or you know, we're in Bainville, the used car capital of the world, I believe. You know, yeah. we got more used car lots here than there is people about there. <laughs> and that's what I hear all kind of tricks and tips, what these guys will be telling me. Like, oh, you got to uh, find one you like, go unplug a plug wire or Where's unplug a map sensor yeah. or something. That way everybody thinks there's something wrong with it, you know? Yep. Or a lot of them now carrying the white paint pen, something right on the windshield, like needs motor, or got a lifter down or something. That's I was like, man, that's sorry, sorry right man. there, man. <laughs> They're like, that's man, it's, it's all about money. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if they're doing it here, they're doing it at all, oh, all the auctions. Yeah, I'm we sure. didn't come up with them tricks. No. We learned over yeah. else. <laughs> so, so, We got trust you if you can't even go to a car auction and you look yeah. and you think you're like, that needs a motor. I'm buying that. That's a lie. That'd be one that needs a motor. <laughs> what kind of uh, what kind of hammer is that? What's that number on that one? It is a HSS D32. It's got a different head on it. Dual face drilling dead blow. It's got a different feel to it. Let me pull up the book because this thing. Like feel of it. It yeah. don't feel like the regular That's the dead blow. Well, I well, mean, I know you felt of it. You hung it up there, but. The yeah. regular ones all got the rubber grip on them. Yeah. Well, this one don't. It's like heavy though for a little bitty one, ain't it? Let's see what I kind of like the way it's made. I think y'all make the best hammers. Just a dual face drilling. Hmm. I wonder what's different than it, than a regular. Different diameter striking faces can be matched to various cold chisels and punches. I ain't never cared if my hammer matched my chisels or not. I'm gonna beat the crap out of that sucker. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> It's different though. I've never. And they use a uh, punch and chisel holder instead of the chisel when you don't know, whack on them. So you gotta get some good striking force. Yeah. Or vice grips. A lot of people use vice grips to work too. That's a good feeling, a little hammer though. How much are they? They got a bunch of these the same size. They must be on sale. Well, no, that's the uh, when main ones that you warranty out 32s and 40s, it seems like. When you got so many of them like that. But we can know. cut deals on everything. You know that, though. Yeah. That's a good size right there. That's a 24. That's a handy little dude. 
I like that big 40 ounce when I need to move some stuff. Because they long, you can get some leverage. Or like on a ball joint, something like that. I like them big ones. Two hand that bad boy hit that sucker. How much is that joker? I ain't never seen that. Got it like for 127 but of course we're going to let it go a little cheaper than that though. A lot cheaper than that. Yeah. Do it for a Hondo. Hondo? What do these run? The 40s. That 40 or 40? 32. Look like a 40 as long as it is. 32. 118. They're them for a Hondo also. $100 bill. Picky flavor, huh? Yep. And one feels heavier than the other one, though. That dual headed one I feels know, heavier. I than guess because the handle's shorter yeah. on it. I don't know. I kind of like it, though. Normally, I want a longer handle than what that one's got, but I like it. It's a weird you, looking little feller. You can use that one as a, a chisel itself, or a punch. I mean, not a chisel. Put that bad boy in there and hit the other end of it. Yeah. It's heavy though. Uh-huh. What is that in 32 ounces? 32. Hmm. That's the same weight, but feel the difference of them. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up and water. down, they feel the same, but when you hold them out like this right here, yeah. this one feels twice as heavy as this one does. That's weird, ain't it? Man, I love them dead blow hammers though. God. Yeah. That's probably one of the best things I bought off this truck was some hammers. They do got the best feel of any of them out there. I can see what size that one is. That's 24. Yeah. That's a good feeling hammer, too. I like our brass ones, too. Like, yeah, I got one brass one up there. Yeah, I got two sizes of them. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Got a lifetime warranty on the brass hammer. Mm hmm. Is it brass or bronze? Bronze, not brass, I'm sorry. I thought so, because I beat the living hell out of mine and I ain't, I ain't messed like... it up yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that little yeah, drilling uh, hammer. You know, if you had laid this down here like this, you know what Thomas would have done if he'd been here? He'd been banging on this box. He'd have had to, yeah. He'd have to check it out. He'd damn sure beat the shit out of the top of one. <laughs> I know that poor old vice right there. <laughs> That's not going to eat him. Man. He wore that out with that punch <laughs> thing. I have to take it away from him like a little kid. So that one's a hundred dollars, huh? Hundred dollars today. Hmm. Boy, him right there is hard to beat. I'm probably picking the wrong hammer if I had to guess. But I ain't never seen one like that before. If it was on here last week, I missed it. I can't remember if it was or if it wasn't. We've been getting a little bit more stuff in, but right now, as long as the band says we've got much stuff, all the new stuff getting gone pretty fast. Yeah. I got two sets of the new vice grips. I sold both of them this week. Are they any count? They are. They actually are. <laughs> they are. I was surprised. I didn't order them. They just came in. Yeah. I guess as a new tool thing. And. Uh, but they, they surprised me. They look like the old Irwins with the that third rivet yeah. instead of being tack welded in. Yeah. Yeah, so. they might be pretty good. I know there's a lot of people interested in this Mac air gun. Yeah. They was like, does he ship out? I'm like, man, they can't sell outside of his <laughs> area. Territory. Come on now. Even on trade-in tools, I'm like, he can't sell out of his area. Like, I don't know why that's so hard for everybody to understand. What'd you say on that? Wasn't it like eighty dollars or seventy five bucks? And the Matco was how much? Um, I can't remember what I said on it, but I think like around 100, 125 somewhere around there. With the sparkly boot cover. <laughs> glitter. Yeah, glitter. I don't remember. I don't know how much them right there are supposed to break away, but man, that thing's lightweight. It's a little bitty thing though. Mm -hmm. For a half inch. Mini impact. It ain't uh that one compared to this one about the same size, seems like. It's a little bit bigger. That's a bad dude right there. If this one do what that one do. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad little dude. 
Sold one out. Sold one of these this morning, a gunmetal gray one to a fella. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, they bad. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, he said, well, this live up to the half, what I keep hearing about. I said, if you heard about it, then you already need to buy it then. <laughs> That MG325, it shocked me when we did that little torque test on it. Yeah. That was a impressive little old gun right there. I like it because it's so quick. It's surprising it's how fast, fast it is. Really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't guess I need nothing else. I sure don't need no roll cart. You could use another one. I don't know where I'm going to put it. You put one by the front door, one by the back. <laughs> <laughs> we got one up here, but you can pull into the back. We work on you back there. I see it. <laughs> if only it was that easy, I'd be all right then. Man, if I had Hamilton's money, I wouldn't even work, worry about working. I'd you just, just ride around, around all day. Yeah, I'd ride around, drink beer, and go to the races every night. There you go. I'd sober up at the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. All right, guys, we're going to cut this thing off. I'm going to get that funky-looking, weird-looking yeah, hammer. It's different-looking. That's kind of like the dork fish hammer right there. The what? The dork fish hammer. Dork fish hammer. You don't remember that? <laughs> the, that comedian, uh, uh, he was on tour with um, Jeff Foxworthy. He talked about the dork fish. His bottom <laughs> lip stuck out way further. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call that, the dork fish hammer. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great weekend. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. If you do, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And if you're not subscribed, it don't cost you nothing. So why are you not subscribed? Press the button. It's right there. That's why we put it there. Just click the button. You guys have a great week. We'll catch you next time. See ya.